Hello guys. So Amazon has announced that the end of life for the Amazon Linux AMI is going to be this December. And I know for a lot of the tutorials that I've been doing on this channel, we have been using the Amazon Linux AMI. And moving forward, we have to start using the Amazon Linux too. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download an Apache web server, PHP and MySQL on an Amazon Linux 2 AMI. So let's go to the management console and see how we can do it. And I'll switch to my management console. And then under services, I'm going to select EC2. And I'm going to launch a new instance. And now you can see under the free tier, normally we always have the Amazon Linux AMI option here. And that option is not available anymore. So you have to start using the Amazon Linux too. We'll select it. I'm going to leave it at the T2 micro. I'm going to select next. Under the configuration, we can leave everything here as default and select next. And we'll also leave the storage as default and select next. We are not going to add any tag, select next. For the security group, we are going to create a new security group. And let's just add one more rule. I'm going to leave this name and description as default. I'm going to add a rule and it is going to be HTTP on port 80 and it is going to come from anywhere. And this is fine. Let's click next to review and launch and review everything and launch. And on this page, we are going to select the key pair. So it's pretty much the same step as how you will launch an Amazon Linux AMI. So I'm just going to select this and click launch instance and view instance. So I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds for this instance to come up. Then once this instance is available, we are going to SSH into it and we are going to download PHP, Apache and MySQL on this server. I'll give it a couple of seconds. So now my EC2 instance is up and running. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to copy the IPv4 address and I'm going to use this IP address to SSH into this EC2 instance. I'm going to use PuTTY. I'm going to open my PuTTY session and put in all the necessary information to SSH into it. So now I have SSH into my EC2 instance. And now we can start running the command to download Apache, PHP, and MySQL on this EC2 instance. This is the command, and I'm going to move it right here. I'm just going to dock both next to each other. So for time's sake, I'm not going to explain what each command is doing, but I'll leave the link in the description explaining what each command is doing. But on a high level, this is the command you need to download Apache and start the web server. This is the command you need to download PHP version 7.4, which is the latest one. And this is the command you need to install MySQL version 5.7. Let's run the first one. So I'm just going to select all this command. I'm going to copy it and paste it in here. And I'm going to press enter again. And we have installed the Apache web server. Let's run the second code. But before we copy all this code, I'll copy this first one just to show you something. I'll copy this and paste it here and press enter. So what this command does is it shows you the PHP version that is available under your Amazon Linux 2. And currently we have version 7.2, version 7.3, and version 7.4. So for whichever version you want to enable, that is what you will enter on this second command. For this tutorial, I want to enable this 7.4. So I've entered that number there. So I'll just copy all this command. Now paste it here. And it should install PHP version 7.4. I'm going to press enter again.
going to press Y for yes. And there you go, we have installed PHP version 7.4. And the third command is to install MySQL version 5.7. So I'm going to copy all this command, paste it in here. We have installed MySQL version 5.7. To check the version of Apache, PHP, and MySQL that is on our web server, we can use this command. Let's check Apache first, and I'm going to type httpdv. So type this command and press enter. And you can see we have version of Apache 2.4.46. Let's check our PHP. I'm going to type php minus v. And you can see we have php version 7.4. Let's check MySQL. For the MySQL, you are going to enter the capital V and press enter. And for MySQL, you can see we have the version 5.7. And this is how you install an Apache web server, PHP and MySQL on an Amazon Linux 2 AMI. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.